When I'm not being head of school, quite often you'll find me in Antarctica. And that's because my main research interest these days is Antarctic astronomy. Over the last few years, we've shown that Antarctica offers the best possible locations for astronomical observing. Now this surprises many people because they think immediately that Antarctica is incredibly windy, inaccessible, and so cold that you just can't get anything done. Now, none of these things is actually true. The winds in Antarctica are confined to the coast, and where we go to the high plateau sites of South Pole and Dome C, the wind is extremely low indeed. In fact, Dome C has the lowest winds of any observing site on Earth. In terms of accessibility, it's actually remarkably easy to get to Antarctica. And that's one of the advantages of doing astronomy from Australia. I've gotten from Sydney to Dome C in less than 24 hours using the uh, air support of the Italian Antarctic program. Similarly, I've gotten to South Pole in about the same time with the National Science Foundation's Hercules jet transport planes. In terms of the cold, well, yes, it is cold. It's been down at minus 52 degrees, in fact, last summer when I was at Dome C. That's what it was in the middle of the night in the summertime. In the wintertime, it gets a lot colder still, down below minus 80 C. In fact, that's below dry ice temperature. But it's precisely these conditions that make Antarctica such a fabulous place for astronomy. Because it's so cold and it's so dry, and so high, in fact, Dome C is at an altitude of about 3,250 meters. Because of these things, the atmosphere is incredibly transparent. And because the wind is so low, the atmosphere is also very stable. As a result, particularly in the infrared, where normally water vapor and thermal emission from the Earth itself and the atmosphere are the main constraints to observing, from Antarctica, we get huge advantages. We have spectral windows open up that are not observable from elsewhere. Uh, we get orders of magnitude improvement in sensitivity because of the reduced background. And a new result that we've just got in the last 12 months is that the very, very stable atmosphere at Dome C can give us imaging quality that rivals that of the Hubble Space Telescope. Many of these results have come from the University of New South Wales Antarctic Astronomy Program. In fact, we have led the world in quantifying observing conditions on the Antarctic Plateau for astronomy. Mm -hmm.